Hey everyone, for this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, the Data Monkey and I, uh, we were talking about what might be useful here, and we thought we'd talk a little bit about formatting slicers. Um, here's the challenge. This also extends to timelines, by the way, of the pivot table, but I got a couple of problems that I want to sort of show you how we can deal with and, and get them fixed. Number one, let's say that we've got all our slicers in exactly the right spot, we're really happy with them, and then you right click and you refresh your pivot table and the column widths change. And this kind of stuff starts happening. You'll notice how the slicers can start moving around and overlapping and doing odd things. So obviously this is far from ideal. We definitely don't want to see that happen. The second thing is, I'm an accountant. We tend to be pretty, um, what's the word, uh, particular about things. And what you'll notice if you look really carefully is that these are not pixel straight lined up across the top. And I'll watch people when I'm teaching a live course spend ages trying to get this thing into exactly the right spot. So I want to show you a couple little tricks here. The first one is I'm going to grab my slicer, hold down my alt key, and I'm going to move it around. And you'll notice that when I do this, it snaps to grid. Okay, so that's kind of a helpful little tip, alt for snapping. Uh, but maybe I don't want this one right on the grid. I'm going to move it along, and you can see now that it's actually not at the same height. So I'm going to try and get these into approximately the right spot um, horizontally here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my control key. Whoops, let's try control instead of alt. We're going to grab all these guys. We're going to go to slicer. We're going to go to align top. And at this point, they're actually like completely straight across perfect at the very, very top. What's also interesting about this is that when you actually go and click on a slicer and you look in your slicer tools, you've got a couple of different options here for your buttons and for the overall slicer size. Now you'll notice mine, the size is 3.97 centimeters. That seems a little bit weird. So I'm going to set it to an even four. Now, when I do that, of course, it's not the same height as the others, but I can also multi-select these once I know what that height is. And boom, just like that. Now I know they're aligned at the top and they're the same height. Next thing is though, I want to stop these from moving around. So I'm going to use this little trick here. This works on charts, timelines, slicers. We're going to go right click and go to size and properties. Under properties, what we've got here is this don't move or size with cells. This is what we want. When you check that box, look at this, we can make this as wide or short as we want. The pivot table can refresh, columns can expand and shrink, and our slicers, our timelines, whatever other objects we have floating on the sheet that we've made this setting for will not move around. Okay, so hopefully you'll find that tip a little bit useful and uh, increase your productivity a bit. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.